Alrighty, so here we are with Left to Learn, April 5th, 2014. With us uh, today is Dusty Numbers, Numbers, Numbers. Oh. And we'll be playing on Heaven Can Wait 2, custom map. Hello everybody, thank you for having me again, once again, for this Left to Learn on Heaven Can Wait. This, I ran this map earlier with Doodlebugs, and this is a really long campaign for the survivors even to just hold out, so I'll be surprised if any one of them actually survives this, but it looks like now we have an attack going in. Oh, first attack coming in, the Smoker pulling back in the uh, very usual spot, Charger confirming unusual spot, Spitter spitting on that charge, Charger took his time to steal somebody and he did not focus that charge, so he landed a really good charge there, and that will be a slow for the rest of the map, bleeding if he takes his pills right now, which I don't agree with, because they do have a tank at 68%, so he's taking those pills, so he will be bleeding for the rest of the map here before the tank. But uh, yeah, this is a very brutal campaign. Times that I did play it, uh, custom camp. Oh, so we do have a tank up. Oh fuck! I read it wrong. Anyways, yeah, it's a br pretty brutal campaign, and uh, tank is up in the hands of Optimus Prime here. So let's go ahead and go over to a survivor war room here. Alright, he's pushing a car, so get ready. Oh my good god. Clear it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Thank you. Nice, nice. Rock. Keep shooting. Shoot the shit I don't know how low he is, but he must be if he's like in there. Watch out, he's got the truck there. Put him on me. It's just you. I'm backing up. Car's coming in. Oh my god. Car on you, Orange. Or on me, holy shit. Did the tank crash? Tank stopped moving. I've seen my life flash before my eyes way too many times. I know, <laughs> me too. <laughs> it feel, I guess it's heavier than normal cars. It looks like it is. It's not going as far yeah, as a normal car you've gotta, Yeah, you've gotta have some really good hittable control to be able to do that tank. And the, don't the, the doors on this map open way slower than they do in regular yeah. maps? Yep. And it's it's also confusing too. Sometimes you go the wrong way by mistake. Yeah, I think gravity's just heavier on this map. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so, what are we waiting for? I think whoever was playing tank crashed. Oh. Maybe they just gave up. I would after all these cars. <laughs> Cause, well, uh, no, they only had that one car. Like, not all the cars are hittable. I know, but the way the truck is so close to all of us, it's been almost here. That's why it's important to learn how to helicopter the cars. Shit. Oh, that car. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, car, kill, keep, keep. Do, 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 do. Save silent. 
I'm a dead. I literally cannot see the tank. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna look at the map. This should have been a late tank because of how. Come on, come on! M2! I did M2, you what? I'm down. Shit. <laughs> you can Get him up. To the face. Get him up. Alright, somebody somebody skeet the rocks while uh, he gets re up. Holy shit, I missed two skates now. That was too hard. Do you wanna push? Reloading. Weapons over here. It should have been a leader tank. Cause this map is like long as hell. Oh well. There's a hunter on top of the bridge. At least I think so. Yeah, there is. Let's start running ahead. You killed the tank? Good dead son. Still alive. Oh wow, nice. Run! It's coming! <laughs> it's gonna probably go yeah, I think. No, we're not really listening. Go this way. Break line of sight. He still got it. Not anymore. Oh my god. Boomer. Oh. Just you. Oh. That car, that truck is coming closer. Oh, look out. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, Smoked. Oh, oh, he's down. He's down. He's taken. Ah. Oh. Try? We got this things. Alright, and we're back. And uh, right off the bat, there is a very early and very long tank, lots of rocks. Uh, looks like he had some issues with his rock forming with his car, though, at the beginning. Uh, towards the end, though, he was able to use his car properly with his teammates Man, and able to get so two shit. downs, a death. He should have punched down a bit earlier. And, uh, eventually a wipe. Bringing in that he car, he was still on first pass, bullet. even though they line of sighted him. He just went second pass. He was a zombie, like, Ellis. He so must have gotten bitten before he picked us up. Anyone know where we are? Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to see much of the action because I explained a little bit of a technical difficulty on my side, which I will try to get fixed soon or later. But it looks like we're now going live here with round two with the same 3 1 setup with you Spit. See if they can do anything with this first hit. Looks like the smoker and the charger and spitter are set up in the usual spot where you'd probably have those since I, uh, Jackie is in the more favorable spot though for him. Jackie's spawning up, making noise, everyone is looking in that area. Smoker spawned up but not doing anything, charger's coming in, you can see a stumble clear. Oh, but the spit is nowhere near and that will be in the safe room so it won't spread as good. Oh, but never mind, it's right outside the safe room. A little bit of damage going out to Cynex but he is not slow so he will not be bleeding. Thank And we will be going over to a survival war room, but not uh, not before this pause, though. Got a couple pauses here. Really glitchy game sometimes. But Dusty, hmm? what do you think of the map so far with the first 20% voting? <laughs> well, for starters, what the survivors need to do is they just need to... Sorry, what were you saying? What? Damn, Dusty. Pay attention, you know, man. There, Pay attention! There's been a lot of... There's just been too much of a technical <laughs> issues on my end at the moment. Apologies. I want to fix that. But, uh, yes, yeah, so I was asking you, what do you think up so far, even though we've... ...kind of it. 
I just got distracted for a second time. I, I apologize for that. Oh my god. Life again. So good. You know what? I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna go get chosen as our next caster. Monotone voice of Carius there. Yeah. Anyways, it looks like Tank is up, and Tank is up in the hands of Lyra. Weird looking face with flower. Hashtag something with SR. Anyways, let's quickly go over to survive and warm after this great triple boom. That might be the end there. Anyways, let's switch. I'm Jockey. Jockey next up, wherever I quit. Nice camera. I'm behind. Shoot. Oh, Alright, we're okay. <laughs> oh, let's, okay. um... Let's move up. Yeah. Clear the smoker. Shoot. Wow, I keep getting hit by rocks. Okay, let's just... Let's not go back all the way there. Let's just LOS him right here behind this truck. I need pills. Here, here. Someone get me. Okay. He's grabbing that truck. Yeah. Okay, okay let's back. Let's back up now. There's... There, there's ammo on this red card. If anyone needs... Yeah, he's getting this truck. If he puts that truck in, should we try to pass him and go forward? Go yeah, around if, if, he, if he screws up yeah, with that. That, that car, it's it's pretty hard to like control, like it's because it's so heavy. Shotgun back here if anyone wants it. And it's really slow, it's easy to dodge. Like this, we can dance around it maybe. Oh. It's pushed past up, it. actually. Just like this. Alright, rock, right, rock, rock. Coming in. Let's go all the way right and go around him. Alright. Get away from that truck. His SS are gonna come in soon. The move Boomer. Charger from behind. Oh, Jockey. I got hit by a car again. Tanks in on you guys. Just tank keep moving. Man. Back up. Charger so still. Truck coming in. So we're pushing? He's, he's trying to push the truck still, so. Let's just let's just do exactly what we've been doing, but from a different angle now. Okay, oh my god, thank you for speaking. I got you. I got you. Push him right or like just kill him now. Okay. Cause he's got nothing to hit or anything. Me and Sinex are slow. Smoker up front though. Yeah. Just don't get pushed. Oh, he's going to rock. Oh boomer. Just oh two. Rock, rock, rock. Smoker's still there behind the truck. Hundred and smoked. A stupid smoke. Oh, I'm down. Yeah, he's really right. Smoker, smoker. He's coming in. He's coming in. Sweet. All right, and we're back. We just saw another long tank, not as long as the previous tank, but a very long tank. That one being a bit more focused on rocks than the hittable. Uh, the initial boom, a quad boom, beginning, that could have been the wipe right there that the tank might have gone in. I don't remember how the comment was, but that was a great boom. And uh, towards the end there, we saw a rocket spawn boomer there straight into their faces and getting a two on the tank to try and get a couple more racks, but not succeeding in landing them. Yeah, really nice job, well done by the survivors though, just being able to position themselves, get them out of trouble really fast before the tank was actually ready to commit. Tank's got a couple of rocks there, but he was just not able to close the distance fast enough. Um, in situations like that, when you get a tribe mob, we'll usually just commit the tank almost right away, so you have to come in to kind of stop the survivors from running anywhere, and possibly even get like at least one or two downs. You see that the survivors are having some issues with the common infected right now. They are kiting the common, but nobody's clearing them behind them. Hey, uh, Stoopy running forward and not churning around to clear those common. Looks like they're clearing the common here, but they're in right next to a truck, Reloading. which I'm not too happy about. Reloading. They're now moving out to the big or bigger open area with some foliage to the left here. Boomer tries to rocket B hop in there, but fails. Charger going for a miracle charge lands because of the smoker, and we see a spit charge there that almost looks like a down. Oh, but he goes down from the common. All those comments. Yeah, you're mentioning about the time where the survivors need to clear comments better and just in general kind of um, clear the comments off of the teammates and we're starting to see a thematic thing where you don't think the comments do too much, but those roadblocks, they're, they can really slow a uh, survivor down. I mean, just in general, if you're going to be kiting the common, um, sometimes it's a good idea not to clear them if you're going to be kiting them to the next spot. 
But when the SI are going to be up soon, you have to clear them out. Looks like we're coming up to the first out event here. With the Witch now spawned at 68%. Looks like Charger is setting up for this Death Charge. They have a Spitter, a Hunter, and a Jockey. Charger's looking in. He's going in, but he's not going for the Death Charge here. Spit Charge. A really good Spit Charge. That will be a down there, and that will be two downs for this event here. Spitter going in for some scratches. Nobody clearing him. Oh, and we see a pounce on a Nick. If he goes down, this event is going to be impossible for the survivors here. They have to keep two up. Oh, and he goes down. He's dead. He's dead. And there's the cap, and that will be the end there. Unfortunate that there was actually two sets of pills at the bridge. For if the survivors ever managed to get that far, usually in campaign mode, that's where the med kits will spawn. You don't get them in the safe room until this point in the map. A little bit unfortunate. I don't think the survivors were ready for that attack at all, and they were just not um, using the sounds to their advantage, knowing where they might come in from. Yeah, it looks like the survivors are not only out of position, but they were just out of sync. They were not ready for the spawns. They were not focusing that charger. And they did go down to um, some of the common there, too. All right, going to the map two here, I'm going to actually cut the stream on my end, and I'm going to try to fix some technical difficulties. So if you wouldn't mind, try to shoutcast this by yourself for the time being. And when I'm ready to go, I will give you a message. But if I have referred the people to your stream at the time being. Alright. Which is much better than his. Ha ha ha. Well, only, we'll see. For the time being, yes, you are going to win. 1080p in all its glory, dude. Alrighty, so uh, this first attack here consisting of what looks to be a Charger, Boomer, Hunter, and Smoker. Uh, they could sack this boomer and go for a great spit charge, but that is entirely up to them. I don't know if they were fixed. There was a sort of an exploit here of some sort. I think you're able to jump on top of this silo, jump on here, and get over here. Into... I don't remember where it was. Somewhere around here. But uh, I'm not sure if they were fixed, and I think they deemed it appropriate during the custom campaign. Could be wrong, I don't remember back then too much. But uh, the reason it was deemed appropriate is because this is because of the fact that uh, it was a separation area, very dangerous. Like the jump in time, they were separated from that. Although there is some wall banging here, so I guess it, it was you are waiting on Testy Rabbit here. Survivor side, looks like we're also waiting for their fourth here to join uh, Optimus Prime now loading in. So Charger looks to be like he's gonna be hitting inside the diner. No, outside the diner. He's gonna be hitting outside the diner. Uh, but when we're looking for that rocket spawn, Hunter and Smoker are gonna be attacking from the top here. Smoker gonna try and probably pull someone for that Charger. Hunter needs to distract so that Charger can get some punches in or the charge. Still waiting on that fourth survivor to join in here. Unfortunately, there isn't that much to talk about here. I'm not very familiar with this map. Um, I guess I can walk you through the map here while we wait. Give me a sec. Alright, so walking you through the map here, uh, the survivors are going to have to come out of this diner, which is usually where most teams attack unless they have a spitter, which they could probably sack the boomerang and get a really great hit. So they're going to have to go inside here. Uh, going through now? Uh, yeah, wait, right here. Yes, they go through this broken down restroom wall here. Then there's another broken down wall here. Uh, going through the bedroom, and this is where you'd probably get the next attack if that uh, boomer is sacked. So right about, uh, they're right about here. And then, let's see, where would they leave? Ah, yes, they go through the broken wall. So right about here is generally where you get the spitter uh, spitter to spawn up, and you will get the attack here. If that, it, it all comes down to how well you land that boomer. You get a single boom or a double boom, might not be enough to slow him down, and you're going to make your way walkway here on the second floor, go back into the room, back through a broken wall, 
And here, you're gonna you have an option. You can go to the left here to look for pills of uh, any sort here. Oh wow. That is pretty graphic, I'd say. It's very graphic. You have an option to come down here. It's a dead end completely. Uh, there is a ability to get pulled down here and you have the re event here. But uh, yeah, you're going to be coming through here and this is where you're going to end up at the uh, no return kind of spot here. You're going to make your way down to the sewers. The sewers going through this door. Just a lot of attacks going through in really close areas and we have another no return here. Uh, a bit harder to navigate through this. Zoom out. Yeah. We have our nice little sewer here and we're going to go over here and this is where the Right here. Ah, this is a there is is a returnable spot. Well, hell, it's been a while since I played this map. And you come on down here, and there's another spitter spot, a really dangerous spitter spot. Make your way over here. All spawns can be blocked from here, so generally most of the SR are going to be attacking from outside here. Outside here, a lot of foliage. The SI can come from many different directions, on top of the cliffs, etc., rocks behind trees. So it's just a very, very dangerous area. Getting boomed here can also be a uh, really, really big thing. I'm not sure what's going on right now. It looks like they're readying up and they have a coach bot. It looks like there's a bit of a technical issue going on here. I'm not sure. Op apparently keeps freezing when he joins. All right, guys. I'm gonna make our way back over to where we were. The foliage. Where is the foliage? And I'm gonna end up going through the entire map for uh, where this is started. All right. It looks like Optimus Prime is now in the Survivor team here. I'm not sure if we're gonna be live here. So going through all this foliage here. A lot of thick foliage. Very dangerous. As you can see, getting boomed here can be no hassle. Looks like they're now ready. Oh. And this is another death charge. The infected can break this right here. It's funny you mentioned that everyone's head. ready too, because I think I'm also ready to join back into here. I think I figured out what the issue was, so I am back. Dream still sucks. I'm a reload. Well, Anyways. I'm not going to really use warmers for the time being. That kind of stuff, I will. We'll talk about that afterwards. Smoker but... is getting ready to pull from behind the bar here. Hey, I'm that pull in there is not going to be very supportive, so you will get cleared very quickly. So the SI need to go in sooner. Then, uh, or actually before him, rather. It's also going to be very questionable why the smokers should pull in there because they don't have a spare separation. for the attack. It's a separation thing. Boomer is looking for that curve boom right there. He could get it onto the stupid right now, but he's pressing the SI. And the survivors. Charge is now dropped on down. Reload. Something about overlay making them spawn. Will be at 73%. The smoker's gonna be pulling across this car instead. Boomer coming in, he's completely away from the rest of his team. Gets a triple boom, do a really good boom, really good charge, and a great pounce to cover the charge, too. So the next attack will be at the second floor, uh, right before the drop. And we will be going over to a, I'm thinking right here, this is a 73% tank. I think that's a graveyard tank, so we're probably going to want to do a survivor worm for this. That is a very difficult tank to take. That's assuming they even get that far to begin with here. Um, as they kind of make their way across the apartments, it looks like they're going to get a 2-2 hit with a smoker coming up with a hunter. What they need to do right now is try to get that hunter t Ooh. to get the spit, and then the boomer ideally tries to stumble there. And let's see if oh, they can yeah. make it happen. A 2-2 here can be very devastating. It's just a very small enclosed area and just get stumbled in the spit, and you will lose all your health. Hunter coming in, gets dead stop because of the miss, and we see a separation pull on a coach, a great separation pull, and we see triple and spit! Ellis going to the back here, and we've got a down in Rochelle. Ellis is not clearing Coach. He can't find where Coach is. I'm not sure what Ellis is doing right now. Ellis, you need to clear Coach. All right, Ellis is now uh, finally cleared Coach. Very delayed there. Extra 15 damage. Uh, at least 20 there onto Coach because it uh, looks like Ellis was having some issues seeing through the vomit and being able to hear where the team was. 
Well, most Survivor teams don't really realize this. Even before that hit, you need to call out as soon as you're getting hit so players know that you're in trouble because it didn't look like that anyone called out that Smoker was up until the Boomer got a try boom and that kind of just all went downhill from here. And then we're going to see the Survivors kind of making their way into the sewer, which can be a very devastating hit. This would be a great time for a Spectator Flashlight if they even have one. I know, right? Spectator Flashlight indeed. A very interesting thing about this spot though is that the second stair of ladders, you can't actually climb that. So if you were to attempt to climb that, you are going to get encapped. Sure about that? Yep. We're going to see if any survivor team tries to do it. Oh, that charge! Devastating, and that will be a four... A four in-cap! That... Oh, wow, that spit spread there. So lucky. That would have been the end right there. And the if thing any, is... I believe the second map, it's one of the more difficult maps, especially the sewer here. It's just, it's just so tight corridor. You're pretty but much going the, to be guaranteed the thing it down is with as the result. sewer, though. The thing is with the sewer, though, that's not even the hardest part of this, uh, about this hit. There's still that log death chart spot about this coming map. up. Yeah, we got the log, we got the river, we got the graveyard. Yeah, the fucking graveyard is going to be a hassle if the survivors don't know how to cover spawns and clear things boomers quick. Spawns are up. Smoker is looking to get that pull. Smoker misses. Charger spawns in the back there. Thinking the Smoker would have grabbed somebody. Charger going for a free charge. He gets cleared by a Stoopy, but pulled by the Smoker. Boomer looking for that spawn. Gets it behind a mountain side there. It's a triple boom there. Walks it in. Doesn't get popped. You can see that Rochelle is now dead. Ellis now going to be dying soon here, or going in capped here soon with all the common infected on him. We see a pull, and he gets a tongue cut. An accidental tongue cut for trying to clear common. We see a pull on a Nick instead, or coach instead, my bad. At this point, just looking really grim to the survivors. Even if they were to like survive this next attack, they still have to log and then the graveyard, and they still have a tank they have to fight. There is just no way they're going to be able to survive this uh, at all. There is no way, and then there's Spitter coming in, trying to delay the pickup, but scratches the wrong person there. Charger desperately trying to look for a spawn. Looks like they're going to hold off now. He's trying to get that close range spawn. Hunter's coming in, going for that DP. Misses. He's getting out now. Charger looking for that spawn. Gets it behind a rock formation here. Not spotted. He's coming in through the trees. Gets one punch, two punch, three punch. Looking for that fourth. No, he's going for that charge. Instead, he gets a miracle charge, but it doesn't happen. There's just so much, like, like trees here that you can't even see anything so one of the sections here that it's definitely going to help out for the survivors is you need to use sound and use that to your advantage to kind of locate where the infected are to be able to shut down the more, more important attacks and whatnot but the survivors just were not in a great shape getting into this section of the map before they were able to continue pursuing further on which is a little bit unfortunate so we're going to be switching sides here now that was very unfortunate that they did not make it to the tank. Which, I personally, I love a graveyard tank. Graveyard tank is awesome. Yeah, it's always, it's always a great learning experience knowing how to fight the tanks. And just the normal attacks, you have to be able to like know how to handle those first. Because a tank will just out amplify any of the mistakes that the survivors will make during the plays. It looks like we're going to have more... People rejoining the game, having more technical difficulties. I swear, it was not my fault. I did nothing wrong. It was his fault. It was his fault, alright? It's not mine. I'll be surprised if any of the survivors even actually managed to get over 1,000 points in this entire campaign. I'm sure one of them has to. I think this map is pretty damn brutal, but you really just gotta look for those spawns and be ready for them. You can't be walking into them blindly and getting spit charged with every single attack. If you're getting spit charged in every single attack, that's not really related to the map. That's more just you're not paying attention. Part of it is also just making sure you're prioritizing on the right targets. A lot of times the infected is going to try to bait you, but you have to always have someone look at where the spawns might potentially come from and then react accordingly. Still waiting on Silent Dystopia to ready up to survive. Yeah. Guys, some nice colorful language going out from him. And we're going live. Some very interesting sprays in there. 
Alright, survivors are now out. Breaking out those windows. Clearing the common outside the diner. Charger and Smoke are going to up on the side here. And Boomer looking for that rocket spot. And then that Hunter going for that deep. Uh, Hunter's going to be in very late here. So he's not going to be able to cover the Smoker. So the Charger's going to come down. Uh, all the cover here for the Smoker. Not stealing the survivor that he grabs. Boomer looking for that curve spot now. Nope, he's repositioning. He's going to the second floor here. He's going to be climbing up the ladder. Still no attack coming in here. Seeing a lot of damage going out to Rochelle here from just common infected. And we have the car making noise here. It looks like they're going in. Smoker misses on the coach. I'm not sure what happened. Looks like he M2 the tongue. Charger gets cleared very quickly. Boomer still can't get that spawn. Pounce lands, gets cleared quickly. Smoker gets cleared before he gets any damage out. Boomer's still looking for that spawn. That boomer has to go. And we see a single boom coming out from that boomer here. No proxy. Great job by coach there, not getting hit by the proxy. I think what happened there was the smoker tried to pull the smoke, pull one, and then he got the tongue cut because he went around a quarter where the smoker was, and then the charger managed to connect anyway because I think they had the right idea. But luckily for the survivors, the boomer did not get that spawn in, which could have been even more devastating than it could actually is. But as the survivors make their way through this, they're going to get, in fact, they're going to have another ideal setup with a smoker, charger, and spitter, see if they can get the exact same room hit that the other team just pulled off. Got a spitter here. Uh, spitter with charger. No double double or no two cap here. Or two two. My bad. No right, spitter and charger now leading in here. I don't agree with that, but it looks like we got two and spit. Oh wow. They're gonna have to jump to the side here, and that might actually god frame Michelle. Probably take more damage uh, not being pounced there. Although it doesn't look like that Nick got hit by the spit to begin with. So lucky yeah, for like him, this, he didn't really. He got very lucky. Hit. That could have been. That could have been really. Really, really bad at the speed it spread in that direction. Smoker now saving for the pullback here, but looks like he's gonna go despawn instead. At least there was no boomer for that team. That could have been like even worse with all the stuff going on in the bitch. Team just leaving coach behind there, just closing the door on him. Boomer and Smoker and Charger for this next hit here. No spitter, which would be extremely devastating here, but a boomer works just the same. But it's a very enclosed area, and there is no spitter, so that could work out to the survivor's advantage if they can play this out correctly. They're all going down the ladder here, no one's separated at the top. Now looking to get down to the bottom of the sewer. Charger looking for that spawn there, Nick looking for that level. They're all now leaving there, Charger is way too late, he's going to get him down there, but he's not going to get the quad charge that he wanted. See a stumble onto the Charger there, he was nowhere near Coach, but it looks like the Coach was... Uh, Stumbling from the boomer, so it ended up stumbling the charge. A little bit unfortunate there. That could have definitely gotten a lot worse. I think there was a little bit of a miscommunication with the timing when this, when they should go in with the smoker, and then he kind of just missed the tongue, and then they hesitated. So the server's going to be in a way better shape than the other team. Hopefully, there'll be come a there'll be a tank fight for this next coming up area. They have now entered the deep foliage of this area, right outside, uh, right outside the sewer. Some dumping area. I mean, come on now, factory companies, you shouldn't be dumping into the forest. Jackie is now up. Hunter is now up, not making any noise. Smoke and leaf in that spawn behind the pile of trees over there. Boomer, looks like they have a boomer, so this is a really great hit. A lot of separation here. The only difference would be a charger. It looks like Hunter's getting chipped. Hunter now sitting at 85 HP, easily skeetable by anything here. Smoker now gets the pull. Boomer is nowhere to get anywhere. Jackie tries to cover the smoker, but does not happen. Hunter coming in does not get skeeted with his 85 HP. Jackie sitting at 308 HP, still two shots from a shotgun, but can still be easy here. Boomer's not spawn. Out of position, not able to get that boom. Gonna have to walk it in. No one's popping that boomer. Tries to go for the vomit, but does not get it. I think one of the main themes we have been seeing that's separating these teams right now is that boomer is just has not been finding those right spawns when he needs to. Also, the or the survivors are doing a great job of shutting down the special infected too. The infected are also not very coordinated at all. They need to coordinate their attacks, or they will not be able to stop them before they get to the graveyard here. Here is the also dreadful log of the campaign. Nobody has broken the log yet, so the survivors could theoretically tank it. Well, one thing to note about the log is you actually don't ledge hang at all from the log. And if the smoker actually gets a pull there, and it looks like he's going to try to set up for a death charge right now. But the charger is nowhere near to set up! 
They, this team really needs to start coordinating their SI hits, or the survivors are going to make it to the graveyard, which is usually a wipe anyways with the graveyard. Spitter gets cleared before spitting. Chucky going for that grab onto the separate survivor, but gets dead stopped, it looks like. Chucky going in. Charger going in. Charger going for long distance. Gets a double. Chucky coming in for round two here. Gets dead stopped again by Rochelle. Almost another dead stop when you're coming in for the crown here. Great crown by Stoopy. Quickly getting Jackie'd afterwards. And we are now arriving at the river death charge. Nobody went to uh, try to go across the log here. Hey, look out. Very safe Maybe choice say... by the survivors indeed. Except oh, that pullback. I that's getting pulled right now. That will need somebody to go back there completely to clear them. Bit of a delay. No death pull though. Still not down Hunter and least. Boomer. Well, the spawns are kind of desync now, so I think this is fact that what they're going to try to do is probably try to sync up. But going into kind of like making sure that you're working together when you're even when you're in spot, trying to make spawns, you need to make sure all of your teammates are in position before you spawn in. Looks oh, like now we have charge. On one boom. Incredible, incredible separation there. I thought he was actually gonna gonna stumble onto him, and we see a down onto Selen. Just oh no, with the Jackie coming in for round two. Try to get some more mouse throughs and he finally goes down. I think he got stuck. You see that he got stuck on top of uh, Nick's head. Thanks, I owe you one. Oh, this game. We're going to survivors going to keep pushing forward and there's going to be even more trees that they push a little bit more and then they should be okay. All right, we're now arriving at the graveyard here. Very open area, still a lot of spawns because of the columns and such and the grave markers, but it's very open and very unfriendly to the special infected. But at the same time, a horde during this tank could be very brutal. The horde is now up. We see a separation pull under Rochelle. No one clearing her before she takes two ticks of damage. Charger coming in gets a stumble because of the rail here. Gets a punch under Rochelle, but not, uh, not getting it down, though. Rochelle doing a great job of staying up here, not going down from common infected chargers and smokers. Making their way through the crypt here. We'll be coming down, or coming to the door, or not the door, but... Alright. Little gas pan event here. I don't think there was a horde even for during the crow. I don't think there's an event during now even. I could have sworn there was an event here. It was like really brutal. See it down onto Rochelle here to give him more health. The infected are going to take advantage of that. Charger not able to get any kind of spawn. Smoker getting the pull here to try and separate, but gets cleared very quickly since he has no other side to come, cover up. Charger unable to find that spawn still. He looks like he's trying to get to the other side here. I think one thing to note about trying to find spawns is a lot of times, um, you try to get a spawn and you get blocked. And when someone goes to go in, you get you start panicking. You start trying to rotate around to try to get a spawn. But I believe what you need to do is you need to just hold your ground and just know that the survivor is going to eventually have to move to save someone. But looks uh, like now we're going to have to tank up in the hands of a stupid. Graveyard tank. Alright, this will be a wipe here very quickly, so we're not going to go to a war room. You see three people down, the blink of an eye. I mean, just with the health that the survivors had, there was just no way they were going to survive it. So it was pretty much... If only the infected team had been that coordinated. And we see a 103 points difference here on the second map. Still a very small gap. Uh, you know, the uh, leading team can still be caught up on. So we're now at the third map of Heaven Can Wait 2. This first attack. This first attack can be both easily shut down and baited but it also can be extremely devastating if it is not dealt with correctly. But it looks like the first hit no. here will consider uh, could be a 2-2 two -two. and it will not be a 2-2 two -two since we do have a charge here. So, uh, I, mean, I, I never really had much success with using my SI in these, uh, these doors. A lot of doors. I, honestly, I wish the doors were uh, one scratchable. If they were scratched down in one hit, they would be extremely not up there. Well, I wouldn't think about one hit. Maybe two hits would be more of a no, no. Tight two turner. hits. Uh, two hits and you're dead. One hit alerts them to your position, and the next hit 
they're already shooting and you've lost all your health. Mm, you got a good point there. Kind of going through all these stories, doesn't matter if the, do the survivors know which one they have to go through. Because all well, of them are like dead ends until... One of the common infected are now attacking a door somewhere, on, uh, even before the ready room, or ready game. So that's some RNG right there, and there it is. Common infected. There's one potential spawn room, right there. Yeah, okay, alright. Thank you, Pal of Master Race. Such RNG. Commons it's like... Played, though. Commons like right there. MVP. Commons right. overpowered. Anyways, uh, the first hit looks like they're setting up for these first, uh, first hit will be these double doors here. Uh, the double door is easily cleared. You usually want to have, uh, one of your lesser SI spawning up and scratching out these doors. Hunter or a jockey, which they have a hunter, which will be very nice because it's not making any noise when you spawn on this crowd shore, claw things, etc. So you can just clear them out and then go hide in some spot because they will not know where he's at. Uh, Charger and Smoker are probably going to want to set up down these double doors here, try and pull someone out and go for some punches or separation charge down into this corner over here. Uh, but I mean, it's it's pretty hard to get a smoke through a door frame. You got to do a sidestep and your smoke. Not well, to mention, you have that one whole second to respond to once you once you spawn up. The survivors are immediately going to back off to like something. Uh, looks like they're repositioning. They might be going at the stairs, which I definitely don't agree with. They don't have a spitter for the stairs hit. Plus, it's like it's three flights of stairs right there, man. The thing about that spawn, though, they are going to hit in this room. This, they almost need to have good coordination with the smoker being on top of the door and the charger right underneath so they're ready to go in when they collapse in. But we're going to now ready up and go into round three of the campaign. It's and Hunter's Arc is going to scratch on that door. The advertisements in this uh, shopping area are all in Russian. Oh, okay. well, no. I don't know. The, the poster with the water there... I don't know what the water says, but it's in Russian. And the salami's in Russian. But the beer is in English. Boomer pre-spawning down below. I think that pretty much alerts us already. He can get popped through the, the wall there, but it looks like he's going around to pop him instead. He gets proxy. And we see a double charge at the top here, along with an ink cap. And we see a pull at the top. Great tri cap there. Great job by the infected team. Looks like they are picking up where they left off uh, yes, or, uh, on the last attack with that tank there and doing a coordinated attack. Especially in a new custom campaign, do you feel like the infected has usually the advantage when they go first or if they're survivors? It depends on the skill level. Um, lower, lower tiered infected will have trouble, more trouble with a newer map than uh, lower tiered survivors. Simply because they don't have experience with adapting and finding spawns. Looks like the infected are still trying to find those spawns for sure. We were getting a little lost. Consisting of a 2 2 with Charger and Spitter. Spitter completely on a different rooftop. Boomer coming in, rockets in, gets a single boom, double boom, and then he gets charged here in the corner. Great double cap in Spit. And that will be a down onto Rochelle here. No, barely gets out. Spitter needs also to go nice die. That the, um, Ella's died. actually got stuck on the car before you actually manage to get out of that spit, so that's going to be a lot of damage going down on them. Really nice attack by the Infected with the double cap to start it off. Tank is up. Tank is up in the hands of Testy Rabbit here. Testy Rabbit new to L2L, so let's see how Testy Rabbit sets off the bar for his tank. Back here. Oh, we are going in. Got a block spawn. There's only two people up there firing. Okay. Well, I'll go up there and fire. I got the Uzi. Yeah. Okay, shoot the shit out of that I'll come back there with the Uzi.
careful getting smoked outside. Tank's in. He's in the store. Shit. It's just you. Tank's dead. He's dead. Alright, and we're back. So we just saw Testy grab its first tank and left to learn here. Uh, missing one punch. Uh, after that, it looks like he did not try and cut off the survivors when he was reaching the back end of the store, which probably cost him an extra punch there, but did a great job with his special infected team down two survivors. And uh, they're all bleeding now for the rest of this map. Reloading. Yeah, one thing you don't really think too much about, especially when you're playing the first time as a tank, is knowing how to get Reloading. that first corner. Because if you, the quicker you get that first right. corner on a survivor, the what that's one less gun shooting at you, and to really ca be able to capitalize sneaky. on that, it's almost like driving. Just in the moment, Ooh, but there, there's another attack going now with a boomer. I love that boomer. Charger coming in, lands on somebody's head. It looks like then. Jumps on down, unable to charge while he's falling there, and quickly gets cleared. We almost see Nick going down there. Common infected could down Nick here. A lot of shoves coming out, and here comes the boomer trying to go for that claw instead of a instead of a proxy there. Reloading. Down. And Nick finally goes down to common infected. Smoker might try and get this pull here. He's looking for that pull. He's fine. If he gets a pull onto Alice instead, and that will be two people down here. The infected can capitalize on this. The jockey needs to come in and delay the pickup, otherwise they're going to get up and be moving here, but looks like they aren't going to be delaying the pickup. Instead, they will be attacking the alley up here. Uh, alley, very devastating if you have a uh, coordinated attack here. Looks like they're skipping the alley and they will be hitting at the next alley, uh, which I feel is a bit more devastating. We'll have to see what the effect they get indeed. Uh, but going back to that reference about the tank, I'd like to think the tank cornering usually is best to think with, like, driving. And oh, you want spit, to usually spit. cut those corners. And that some triple and spit. Attack. Oh, and Ellis getting so lucky that he found an islander. That would have been it right then and there. A double charge, a cap, all three in spit. Just an incredible attack there. Infected must have heard us yesterday telling them to be more coordinated and looks like they definitely took that to heart. Reloading. Maybe they developed like Tetelthanesis to like be able to hear even us now commentating on this. Wait, right, now we can't announce where the spawns are. Oh, that great tongue cut by Coach. Jackie coming down, getting dead stopped twice and then killed by the melee weapon. Charger coming in, charges somebody into the corner, gets one pound before he's cleared here. That's gonna be a kill. Great, great uh, coordinated attack there. Unfortunately, the jacket did not land, but they were able to kill somebody with that charger. And a good boom. Survivors making their way to the offices here. Mind you, the offices could be connected. Good to go. I can't, I mean, I hope one of these teams makes it to the garage. I really hope one of the teams make it to the garage because I love the garage. Smoker getting the pull forward, but he's way too close. But you see a death on the coach here. That will be it. But I'm taking a wrong turn at the very end, too. But that's going to be the wipe. And the survivors just were not in a great shape after that tank fight. They could have definitely handled it a little bit more better, but luckily for them, the tank didn't really play it too great of a clean tank to, to begin with. And then he was able to just survive until, until then. Alrighty, so I'm interested to see how this here does the attack. Maybe they won't get as lucky as the previous team with that common infected clip at the bathroom door, but I'm sure they can somewhere. So what do you think of this third map so far, Dusty? It's very corridory. It's very charger favorite for sure. And if all it takes is one special to set you up, and you pretty much just get a charge down like an alleyway in this entire map. Just looking at the shop area, just looking at the alley, 
and a couple outside there's a lot of cars to help you get in that spawn even. I'm not breaking the top door. I do not agree with this charge you're leading in. Wow. Infected team seem to have switched here. Very uncoordinated, getting shut down by Coach. Great job, Optimus Prime. Oh, we get a pounce in there on Alice, but again, quickly cleared. Very minimal damage going out to the survivors. Uh, great job for pushing those SI instead of backing up. If they'd backed up, they would have given the SI that attack there. Looks like they're specking to see, make sure the tank falls into the right hands. So everyone gets a tank uh, shot at playing the tank in all the L2L games. So I was clearing through this uh, back end of the store here. See more spectators still going out. I swear it's not my fault. Reloading. Infected may opt to wait until the run back before um, making an attack, which I will agree with, because that's always a great way to get the survivors off guard. Trying to run through a certain area. And then the attack comes in. Well, if they're going to do that, they better set up. Because they're having trouble finding where to spawn here. Looks like they're all going on top of the store. Rooftop here. Smoker looking for that spawn though. Boom looking for that rocket. Tank is up. The hands of Silent Dystopia here. Silent Dystopia, I believe, is also a first timer and left to learn here. So let's see how Silent Dystopia sets the bar for her tank here. Great charge, by the way. Okay. But yeah, just um, spitters ripped on top I'm, of us. All right, I'm sitting in the back because I'm shoddy, but get stand up on the uh, tops of this so you can chip. Okay. And I'm just gonna block spawns in the back so you guys can space out and chip. Of course, close back here. Close back here if we need it. Cool. Whoa, that was close. Did you get hit? No, I dropped off, but there was uh. Hunter, hunter. Smoke it down. Oh, I got boomed. G2. He's coming in. He's, he's committing. He tried getting in. <laughs> There's pills he's in the bag. He's in, he's in. He's, in. he's stored a rock, throwing a rock. Is he inside? Yeah, yeah he is. He's in front of you. So Here he comes. Yep, it's okay. Oh, he went back. Committing. Run! Reloading. Rock, rock, rock. Smoke right the doorway. Watch out. Are you out of your mind shooting at me? Top charged. Hunter coming in from back. Ah! Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Good. All right, and we are back. It's like unfortunately, Sound Dystopia wasn't able to really corner any survivors there. Uh, missed a couple punches. Tried to punch one of the survivors onto the top there, which the survivors really should have stayed on top of there. It makes it very hard to get on top of there. Um, yeah, it looks like Sound Dystopia will probably want to work on her tank, which is what L two O. Survivors are coming back in the safe room trying to get some ammo. Charger and Boomer and Spitter are ready for this hit here. Boomer gets a great single boom. Looks like they will be committing this smoker in here. Charger and Spitter are going to be attacking from the back here. Whoa, did you see that? I did not see that. But it looks like he did he get pulled through. Oh, I didn't see it. Damn. I was looking for that charger spot. Looks like Charger's gonna be spawning at the bottom here. Loses his spawn though, looking gonna be missioning. Might so as well Smoker just was in that room say. pulling one of the survivors and then I believe a common was under it and he just flew into the air and then landed right next to the smoker. Oh, the physics in this game can be really wonky. I blame Valve. Always Valve. Always Valve. Of this wonderful game called Left 4 Dead 2. Hunter looking for that DP. No one has spotted the hunter yet. Nobody's looking up. The streets are not filled with common. They should be looking up at all times here. At least 
arc a little bit slanted. Hunter going for that DP, misses, pounces around, creates a good distraction. Shaki comes in but gets dead stop, charging him for a miracle charge and lands it outside of the spit. Lands one pound though before he goes down. Spit separating Ellis here, unable to cross the spit, so it will be about a one or two second delay there. Unfortunately for the spitter, he was just a little bit too early on that spit before he saw where the charger was landing, trying to get a little bit more of that uh, damage going up, but it didn't really work out for him. The server is actually really in a really good shape to continue on and get to the garage that you're looking forward to. Reloading. Yes. Yes. Garage, please. Garage, please. Well, they are right next to it. Garage, please. But they have to go through the offices first and the top of the garage. Oh, charge coming in here. Looks like he gets stuck uh, on the wall here. Slanted his charge. Did great, Jackie. Almost a good pull there, but gets stumbled by the Boomer Proxy. That's got to be a really odd office space if the garage is like literally two doors away from it. You're going to hear like cars coming in and out all day just before you even like get anything done. Must be cheap office rent or uh, incredibly soundproof rooms. Looks like the survivors are going to make it to the garage where this is the lot of alarm cars. The charger thought he could get a death charge, I guess he didn't really get it. Uh, you can't get that death charge unless there's two there. Boomer going in. Walking it in. It's popped. Under looking for that pounce up top. It looks like the survivors are taking the time, looking they're shopping for some pills because they know the SI are outside, but it is giving the boomer time to respawn here, but looks like the tech will be going in here. Charger gets shut down, great shutdown by Coach, and we see an alarm car going off. Now, I don't remember if this was fixed, but I remember that there's actually some silent alarm cars in here. Cars that there aren't... Are. Oh, cars that aren't alarmed, and if you shoot them, will set off alarms. You can't see this if they're alarmed This is pretty much a crescendo not. event, and it pretty much never ends until you get to the safe room here. Yeah, somewhat. And then with some of these alarms, though, if you know the map, you know what cars not to shoot. Like down here, we're going to be coming down here. This van, I believe, is an alarm car. Somewhere around there. One of those, either the van or the car in the middle, is an alarm. Charger and Jackie and Boomer and Smoker are ready to spawn here. Boomer coming from behind the van. Alarm car is set off, and I told you as the van is now alarming. Smoker getting a great separation pull, trying to clear him desperately, but the jockey covers that smoker. Great job. Reloading. Hit by them, and I really wish there was more flashlights going out from the spectators for us to really be able to see anything okay. in here. It's really good at dark. And there is a witch. Witch going in. Does not nice get brown. those claws though. I don't know if you were uh, around during CCT2 or saw any of the games there, but there was a big dispute over whether something was legal. You were able to jump down from the top of the uh, top of the garage down to the bottom from the side there, and one team did it, and it was actually it wasn't contested by the admins, but afterwards it was I think deemed illegal. Very interesting. Survivors actually look like they might be able to survive this. This is going to be their wild card. When the Charger and Boomer coming in. Attack. Charger rockets in and leads, but gets in. We see a charge spit. Boomer gets popped from the rocket. And you see a Hunter pounce to cover this Charger, and that will be a down here. On the bright side, that was only temporary health. They just really need to keep Ellis and Rochelle alive. Just not to take any more damage so they True, can get a nice health think, bonus. True, uh, but I think Coach is black and white now? No? Oh, no, he's not. Look out! He still has spells, so they can definitely In fact, that's this. their first down. That is the their exact first down. Ah, uh, the gas station. For those of you that don't know the gas station here, if you actually shoot any of the gas, you're going to be in level in like the entire flames everywhere. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Charger now spawned up. Jackie spawned up. Charger is leading in. No one focusing that charger. Charger goes for the charge, but stumbles at point blank range and gets jockeyed and smoked at the same time. But Jackie over. Uh, overriding the smoker there, going in fast. The smoker tries to cover, just too close to do any kind of grabbing motion. Well, it's in fact managed to close the gap a little bit on the scores that's going to pretty much be a little bit more open. I think the survivors kind of know about the gas station. Oh, there he uh -oh. goes. Uh-oh. 
Unfortunately, it was just Cynix that went down, but that was health bonus, so that will hurt their ending score here. He's currently sitting at 112 health bonus. Hunter looking for that DP, nobody looking up, and he gets a DP on the Cynax. Great double boom, charge coming in, gets a charge, separation charge, Jockey going in, grabs Coach, covering that charger for one pound. Coach now going to go down here very close, and looks like Nick goes down instead. Looks like the survivors got lost a little bit of a focus what they needed to do there, and then they just were not anticipating those two attacks that came in at the very end. The safe room is within reach if they can survive one more hit right in this room. This is not how it's gonna end. One more hit here at the safe room. Spitter going for that spit delay. Tries to spin in front of the door and does get the spit delay. And we see a pounce on a Rochelle. Nobody clears Rochelle. Rochelle won't go down. See a down on to Nick. Nick ran right into the spit. I don't think he realized there was spit there. Or maybe he thought he could run over and get to the safe room. It's like, fuck you guys, I'm getting in the safe room. But they do survive this with three survivors going into here. Bonus of 66 points, putting the total at 1,094 versus 729. Let's just look at the scores aside. This is still pretty much anyone's game, just oh, going yes. into two more maps to go. This is definitely anyone's game here. With map 4 of Heading Can Wait 2, City Hall. Ah, oh, yes. City Hall. I don't remember City Hall. I believe it's somewhat like a uh, Death Toll esque town setting. Kind of like map 4 Death Toll. Let me see. Oh, I remember City Hall now. Oh my god. This map so confusing, man. It's so confusing. There's a lot of dead ends and alleys in this certain area, so you really want to have your map knowledge kind of like know where you need to go for this area, especially when you know attacks are going to be up. You want to have a direction where you need to be to minimize the hits you're going to take here. And then this construction area, there's so many different spots that you can try and take shortcuts here. Uh, it can be very confusing if you don't know where to go that. I believe the construction area, there are two ways you actually can get past this area. The one is on the right side where you actually go towards the construction house or you can actually go to the left where it is a little bit more safer but it's a little bit longer as well. I thought they blocked off the construction house. That's weird. One on the left, the door on the left. Just to get the move? Sure. Anyways, uh, first hit here consisting of what looks to be a 2-2 with Hunter and Jackie. So they're gonna be setting up at the end of the alleyway here, which seems like a better choice, but they need to make sure. Oh no, it's not a hunter. The uh, boomer. Charger. They do have Anyways. a 3-1 with Spitter here, so this is really yeah. going to be a very devastating hit if that charger can land. Spitter and Charger. Uh, you can actually get onto the others here by kind of a, kind of a map exploit. Hunting people though. Uh, yeah, so they're gonna be going to the alley here. Very close quarters. Hunter in that spot that I was previously talking about. Hunter looking for that DP. Hunter going in. No one's getting him. Jockey going in. We see a stumble, but he gets dead stop. And another stumble, and he gets dead stop again, but he doesn't reg. Charger going for punch. Two punch. Gets cleared. I feel like Chargers should be just renamed the Punchers. Because that's what they seem to do a lot. Especially in campaign mode. Every single time. Oh, man. Yeah, because they usually waste their charge by charging into the wall or something because they aren't nav capped right? But the only thing they can do is punch since their charge is on cooldown. Do it, Valve. Make it happen. Or someone write a plugin. Just to rename them the Punchers. They are now going inside the big liquor store here. Looking for pills here, I guess, but not finding any. I need some ammo. Hunter going for that DP, getting on top of the rooftop here. Jackie on the opposite rooftop. Hunter and, or Spitter and Smoker looking to pull in the alarm car here. Spitter crouching. I think we'll be at 32%, so we will be seeing it soon. Jackie leading in here, grabs somebody, trying to cover, misses, but ends up getting coached. He's in the middle of the alleyway, no one to cover him. We see a smoke onto Nick here. Tongue will be getting shot, but not before three ticks of damage going on to Nick. I think there was a little bit of a miscommunication by the survivor teams, not sure whether to back up or go forward when an attack was coming in, and they sort of started to spread out, and then they 
the hunter kind of got capitalized on that. Seeing a pull on the lime car and he's successful. Cynic's having some ping issues here. That might have been the issue or the reason why he just got pulled in there. Looks like they aren't going to be pushing it while the units are down. Instead, they're going to be taking this event. Or this alarm car, I should say. In the garage. I think one of the things that most newer teams, especially those new to Left to Learn, don't realize is a lot of the thing about Left to Learn isn't about getting that charger. It's about knowing when the spawn timers are up so you know when to hold and when to push and when to do the rest of those stuff that you wouldn't think otherwise too much about. And that was play actually a pretty, pretty big integral part of your survivor experience. I completely agree. Hunter looks to be getting stuck on the fire escape there, pouncing around across the rooftop. Jockey now spawned, leading in with a lunge, misses, ends up lunging again onto Nick. Charger missing his charge, Hunter coming in, trying to land on someone desperately on the car that's still blinking even though it's not an alarm anymore. And Spinner getting a free spit, uh, doing nothing but delaying for at least half a second. Reloading. That was a very short car alarm event. This ain't no mercy, man. They're taking their time getting ammo when they really should be pushing. They need to be pushing right now. This is a very bad area to be for this attack. If they get a spitter, this is going to be extremely difficult. They might be discussing whether they should push forward or hold on a certain area for this tank. Reloading. Well, we're going to get a 3-1 with Boomer. Tank should be up really soon after this next hit. We're going to see if the infected opts to um, hold off until the tank spawns in. We'll be going to an infected war in here. Hey, I'm this tank is very interesting. A lot of places you can back from. Reloading. Tell the dystopia explain chat that they're going the wrong way. Uh, you can go through the, uh, go through the construction area. There's three ways to get forward through here. Four if you count a map exploit. More darkness. Reloading. Oh, that boom tries desperately to get that curve boom. Coach knowing it's there. Going back down. Rest of the attack coming in. Jockey getting chipped. Jockey going down again, getting dead stop. Going for round two, gets dead stopped again. More dead stops. Finally goes down. Hunter looking for that pounce in there. Gets dead stop. Still gets away. Charger comes in. Manages to land on Rochelle, but does not get a pound. Well, so regardless of what happened, that was actually a really area. nice job. Tank uh, is now up. Preventing that. Tank now up in the hands of Corringe 4. Survivor is still moving forward here, looking to try and get on the rooftop, which is what they want to do. If they can get on that rooftop, they will be safe. Oh, wow. This tank is going to have one hell of a... one hell of a commit here. So let's quickly go to an infected tank or infected war room and see how they deal with this. Hey, I'm reloading. Are we going in or? No, we're gonna wait on tank. Let's go on over here. I can't get on the what? What a cool infected ladder. Kill him, man, kill him. Ready? Nice rock. Nice, thank you. Oh, good smoke. I'll have to push in on the next hit. You're still first pass. Um, we could try to smoke one off if you want. Like, char smoke charge off. Get him up on this. Okay, balcony. I'm gonna have to push in though. Okay. Pushing in. Help him. Wow. I didn't realize they can get through this little alley. I, I have no one. You do realize that you're shooting at me. Yeah. 
All right, and we're back there. We saw him land a really good rock there, and then afterwards it looks like they stopped going for rocks and instead went in for a commit. The infected team were not aware that they could not go, uh, or that these survivors can walk around the side of the side of the ledge here, and things also weren't set up for that attack. They were talking about how they were going to try and charge somebody off, similar to how the Parish Death Charge works and the No Mercy Map 5 uh, Finale Death Charge works. But it looks like they never went ahead and did it because the Smoker 1 was too close and the Charger was nowhere to be seen to be spotting. A little bit unfortunate for the um, Infected there for sure. So this could be even more of a map changer right here if they were to continue on and because they're sitting still in a pretty decent position to get and they're about halfway through the map here. But there's still a couple more bigger chokes that are in this area that the survivor is going to be presented with a challenge with for sure. There is an event here and you can't really stop anything about that. Survivor's shooting the camera looking at it right now. So if you shoot the camera properly it does not uh, set off an alarm but unfortunately you can't know when it actually is off. Ducky, Smoker, Hunter, and Spitter trying to work something in here. Unable to get the pull. Smoker gets picked. Hunter coming in. Lands on somebody. We see a spit pounce in there. Oh, and a separation by the Jackie. Oh, and double spit that will be down. Great job there by the infected. Yeah, yeah, you good. How you want? Oh, he ends up closing the door on himself. They're now making their way up to the one way here, jumping down into the factory as they get deeper and deeper. Reloading! Elephant pills. Oh, charge is going in for that charge here alone though, getting cleared very quickly. Not before getting one punch though and a stumble, and we see a double spit. It gets quickly out of there and he walks back into the spit. Great double boom though. I'll be going up the ladder here to the top of the shelves here. Gonna be either jumping out of this window here or out of the second set of windows. Either way, they gotta get onto this rooftop, which is now up at 59%. Move forward to the switch. Ooh, which is an unavoidable. That's actually a very dangerous spot there. Trying to find her on my screen. Yeah, she's right at the window. And just for those that those of you that know, I think you can get outside the map from here. But it looks like we got a oh the Chucky almost resetting Ellis. They're quickly getting cleared, and that witch is pissed. If the spitter spits around the corner right there, oh wow, spit does not get around the corner though, but it will do some significant damage onto uh, Nick's temporary health there. <laughs> Seeing some punches through, some punches through the window there. I what the survivor needs much, to do right now is quickly in-cap people and pick them up just because mm -hmm. everyone is sitting on low, you don't really want anyone on that low of an HP. Even like, I would even go as far as to try to cap another one, but it's too late right now. That could have went a bit better, but at the same time, that could have went so much worse. That witch spot is horrifying. There's just so many corridors in this yeah, custom map, they're going the wrong way, they have to go up. I think you no, can they go, do down. go down. I'm getting Go lost sometimes on these own maps myself. Jockey comes in. Dead stun misses. He's taking around the corner. That will be a down. Spitter comes in for a spit delay. Pounce misses. He's going to go for round two there. No, he's going to pounce up. Misses the wall pounce there. Going away. Looks like they're going to wait for the next set of survivors to come in, which is a good idea. Boomer looking for that scratch. Gets a proxy on the top health there. Ellis is now slow and 1 HP. And we see a Jackie separation around the corner yet again. And this will be the end here. Ellis getting scratched down. Silver's so actually got pretty decently far, given the circumstances. There's just so many alleys in this particular map that you're pretty much guaranteed to almost always land at least a charger at some point. Now we'll be going to round two of map for here. So in terms of these alleys, what do you think you, the survivor teams needs to do to be able to prevent that also infamous charger from landing? They need to check the uh, corners where a are going to spawn. There are all, I mean, there's a lot of spots you can spawn from here, but there's also uh, all the spots that are generally used that are pretty much pretty common. 
And you just gotta have one survivor watching them and be ready for them. Having two survivors at the back end of the alley right here, looking up into the corners and waiting for those spawns, and two survivors pushing forward. Guys, for the rest of the alleys, you just gotta be looking for those spawns. I mean, that's about it. There's nothing else you can really do. You can't prevent the spawns at all. They will come in, whether you like it or not. So just to kind of exemplify that, that it's even more important that if you know the spawns are down, to so even start pushing towards to past the next alley as quickly as possible. We're going to go into round two, see what the infected is going to do and what the survivor is Charges going to do to counteract that. Early charge here. No one is watching the corners up and charge manages to land. We see a double charge and spit. Oh no, that's going to be a oh, lot of wow. damage. That oh, might be, wow. be an in cap. That's not an in cap. The spit won't last long enough. Oh wow, double spit. My bad. Wow, there is that right off the bat from the other spitter. From the other spitter, the other spitter. There were two spitters. The one from the current spitter, the one that he spat on, and then there's the <laughs> spit where he dies. Technically, there could be two spits. I guess that's what I meant to say. Oh. Anyways, they are making it through the alley here. They will be arriving at the alarm crest. Smoker is now up. He's looking for that pull. The crate saving him there from a great deal of great deal of issues there. But he's going for round two. Smoker tongue cut. All these tongue cuts. S3. Make it four. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, a charge, charge pull. A charge pull. That charger was a kite, man. Always the charger. Lyra, uh, or no, not Lyra, Corrin just stepping on that alarm car just to make sure that it's off. He wanted to make sure that it was off, so he just jumped on that alarm car. Power is now out inside the garage. I guess somebody just shot? Shot the lights? Yeah, someone shot the lights. Although, I don't know why they're holding out. The spawns were down. They should just push this. Oh, yeah, totally. People need to start pushing forward. I mean, sure, there's all these horde, but what is going to hit you that's a lot of damage? Looks like another attack will be coming in here. Spitter and Jackie coming in for round two. Great double boom. Spit or charge. You're trying to go for a charge on the neck there, but doesn't happen. Gets a one punch in and then a stumble on the coach with the proxy. So boom. They need to start running forward. Looks like Nick is jumping on that alarm car again. He's trying to make sure that car is off. Note to everyone, make sure your alarm cars are no longer alarmed anymore. So if you see it blinking, you might want to jump on it, just in case. <laughs> Especially when blinks like in Left 4 Dead like envelop the entire car. I've never seen a car like alarm go off just because your entire car is like blinking red on the windshields. This car is alarmed. Must be like some 2020 apocalypse to have cars built and alarms do that. But the survivors are going to continue pushing north forward. And it passes the cement truck here. They will be approaching the construction area. It looks like the hunter is going to go for that DP. No one's noticed him yet. It looks like they will be attacking outside here, which is probably a good idea so they can get a hit for this tank. But this hit has to be good. If it's not good, they will be able to rush and take it or take past this tank before the SI can do it. Smoker looking for that pull there. They're going in here. Jockey going in for a lunge. Misses. Do not ever initiate with a lunge, guys. Great pounce there onto Ellis. Spit misses. Seeing someone standing in spit here, trying to type out a message. They need to be moving. They need to be moving. The next spawn is in eight seconds. Six seconds. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Survivor's not moving fast enough. They will have to take another attack here. Here comes the tank. In fact, they might actually have to pull back. If they push forward right now, they could be fucked over. Anyways, tank is up in the hands of Synax, so let's quickly go to an infected tank and see how they take this tank. Oh, people cut them off. No. I'm trapped inside this building. Where do I go? I guess you just wait for them. Or you, or, or you go outside, and oh, then shit. you you climb up. Oh, yeah, follow me, follow me, follow me. I remember. This way, where Hunter is. Oh. And then, um, you climb this thing. 
over here. Okay, got it. I'll I'll, I'll go in just to just so they they won't ship you. But I'll try. All right, keep going. Yep, climb, climb, climb. Yeah, you can sit pretty far back there. They can't yep. really chip you. They actually have two shotguns, so it's gonna be a little I'm trying to figure out if this alley lets you get up on like the better roof. I'm not sure. Oh, what happened? You fell. It's, 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 a, it's a slope. It's AI. What the fuck? Yeah. And it's stuck too. Wow. Oh, never mind. It's coming. It's coming. All right. Let's just hit on the AI. Actually, no, it's not. It it just it's stuck. Wow, it's stuck. Oh no! We'll, it's shipped, we'll just give you. We'll just give you another tank for finale, and let this AI tank do its thing. Sure. Alright. Oh, Ooh, he's going. Now he's stuck. I'll try to lure them towards you. Ooh, did he hit? Nice charge. Good job. Let's I'm just, stuck. Let's just go off. Oh wait. Me and the hunter should probably just. We can wait a second. Okay. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. The worst AI tank. I'm killing corn. All right, good idea. I got him. Nice. Hey, uh, ducky, ducky. Oh no. My fault. I, I didn't think I was going to go in at the time. This tank is retarded. <laughs> it's just like right, chilling. Right, right. Oh, yeah. stupid tank. Look at him. Oh, can be seen. Alright, and we are back. We just ended ourselves a nice shooting gallery tank there. Charger almost getting that death charge but barely missing. Great pull to distract. But uh, yeah, that that shooting gallery tank, Dusty. What do you think? Very interesting indeed for both teams. I think something that you actually under anticipate, especially as survivors, and you hear an AI tank, you think he's actually a piece of cakewalk. But no, you still have to treat an AI tank as a pretty big threat, especially if you don't know how to manipulate his AI to your advantage. And I feel like a lot of um, I'm newer not players sure what's going that. on here. What's going on here? Why are they... They're going backwards. I think they got lost again. But Zen's played this map before. Why did they go back there? Maybe he forgot. <laughs> Stoopy asking them, what are you guys doing? Reloading. I'm following Zen. Oh god. Looks like... Well then. <laughs> looks like poor Zen does not know where to go on this map. That will give the infected another attack here. Hunter are pouncing on top of the rooftop, but everyone's having trouble getting onto. That is a bit broken, so you have to speed climb to get up there. It's a ghost. Next here, attack here consisting of a jockey, spitter, smoker, and hunter. Nobody's shooting the nobody's shooting the camera, so they could set off this alarm here. Oh, but it did not go off yet. Hunter going for two pounds. Double cap. Double cap. Oh, and that will be, be a wipe. That will be the wipe. Really unfortunate about that tank, but uh, yeah, shooting gallery tank doing some work there. Although I do believe that the tank did have his first pass. He was kind of walking around, kind of lost a little bit in the buildings, and then he finally found his way to the infected ladder. And then while he was climbing that, he was on the second pass. I don't think he realized he was on his second pass when he was well, doing that, because he did fall off while he was climbing up. I will uh, I will have to check the replay. I know it's happened very rarely a few times in Left 4 Dead 2 history where the double pass only gave people a single pass and it did that to me once. It's pretty depressing. Alright, so we are at the military base. The map that I've never seen anyone, anyone survive. I've never seen anyone survive even when the teams are incredibly slanted. Uh, my team going up against Sideways Fox's team. Good example of that, or not sideways boxes. 
is Jill's team? Jill, Bravo, and Lust, I think? I don't remember who their fourth was. But uh, yeah, it was pretty stacked against, in their, or stacked in their favors, but they still were not able to survive this. This map is just Very really brutal. long. I don't even know if there's going to be a tank before they actually hold out for this. I'm not sure how Promod works here. Yes, there is. Very brutal tank. Very brutal They're going to have map. to fight two tanks. Well, you see, this is a very brutal tank unless you know how to use the miniguns to your advantage without screwing yourselves over. It's interesting to note that the moment they walk out of that train, that is going to be out of the safe room. But it looks like the infected are going to be opting to attack outside the door here. There's a lot of, like, fog in this area. More fog, and we actually see some uh, fire barrels over there that do a lot of damage, mind you. You could theoretically pull someone into it, but you also get the infected you might die, so you have to be careful okay, about this. Around. Hunter making but, some noise? I, I always like to shoot the fire barrels, honestly. One fire so barrel the going survivors, off. I think they heard you. Reloading. Locking off an entire spawn there and clearing some of the comma here. Very, very foggy for sure. Charger repositioning. First hit consisting of a three one with Charger and Spitter here. Watch SIR nowhere in position to the get rocks. the attack here. Shoot me again. Shoot me again. I dare you. Jockey coming in, great B hop there by the Jockey, but he gets skeeted by SMGs, and we see a charge coming in. Spitter gets cleared though before he's able to spit. Hunter coming in for that DP, misses, gets skeeted. Could shut them up with the survivors though. Another interesting thing to note is these barbed wires, I think they do damage to the special infected. Reloading. Huh. I know they can hurt the survivors for sure later on coming up, but there is a witch, and that's going to be lights out for the witch. Good job by Optimus Prime killing on that witch. Check the locker. A lot of spectating going on here. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Reloading. Probably all the technical difficulties earlier probably messed up the plugins order for who's going to become bomb. tank. There is pipe bombs. Pipe bomb out. This is why we can't have nice oh, things. That is a lot of pipe bombs. Oh, why is it unlimited pipe bombs? I don't think so. Wait a minute, why are pipe bombs at a military base? Great B hop by the Jackie yet again. Gets dead stop though and cleared. Hunter comes in while distracted and lands, but the charger goes for a miracle charge and misses. Spit lands on a coach, getting in a couple ticks of damage there. Nothing too significant. So, Ruffers are doing a great job though, just kind of going through this map so far, given the circumstances. I want to get in the tank. I want Save to the pipe get in the, for tank. the tank, man. Top level you know, strategy you can right ski, there. You can ski to rock with a pipe bomb. You can? Speaking of tanks, yes. You can ski to rock, you can dead stop a charger, you can stop a pounce, etc. You can stop a spit. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to our war rooms here. Not before the pause, though. Before, before the pause ends. But uh, yeah, tank is up in the hands of Zen Digital here. Oh, he said he tried to pause and type to spec. Well, I wonder if there's going to be any pipe bombs shenanigans going out when the boomer actually lands. There probably will be. Well, who knows? Since, since there is $2,000 on the line here, I think they should use those pipe bombs. Oh, man. Or just for the interest of their survival, even. The survivors, you know, their characters are probably thinking, why won't my player let me throw these pipe bombs I'm horrified please let me throw these pipe bombs there's zombies coming at me please let me throw these pipe bombs but uh, of course the characters do not have control over themselves we'll be We're going, going back live here all right let's quickly go over to a survivor war room here He's I mean, just yeah, wait for his S size so just shut down this size first yeah if a boom lands we're kind of screwed yeah I don't know if that's your top spawn when I'm looking up there. Coming in. He's on the right. 
Oh my god, this is really fucking real. They're behind us too. in the generator. Coming through the generator with a charger. Thunder's on me. Rochelle. Oh, wait. He's dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Alright, we are back here. We saw some pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting survival play there. Taking in that general area. Very risky. Um, at the same time, though, they did a great job with the special effect. It looked like a wipe numerous times, but nobody ever actually... Everyone kept it together. They actually have three people with permanent health still, one of which is not bleeding and not slow. They're going to go into, right into this finale holdout with another set of pills around the table. I believe there's going to be, like, another two as they kind of open this little bomb shelter, I guess you call it. Honestly... I don't know. I mean, honestly, unless you have full HP on everyone, I don't think you can survive this event. And versus, it comes a charge, a miracle charge into the bumper of the van or the truck. Anything can happen in any L2L game. You never know. Well, they break, make the milestone of being the first to survive. I've never seen it on this map, so let's see how the finale is. I mean, I've seen it. Looks like they're going to be taken out in the open. There's a lot of fog here. I think the fog will block line of sight. It does that on hard rain. Uh, line of sight is broken by fog, so you can spawn there. Uh, Coach getting on top of the truck here. Looks like they're going to be taken in the garage. It's actually very standard here. Hunter and Jackie going in here. Smoker's now spawned up in the front. Jackie lands and gets cleared momentarily. Smoker gets the pull. One tick of damage going out. Overall, I think the survivors are in a pretty good, uh, pretty good spot here. There's not that much the infected can do here, so honestly, they just got to get in chips of damage here, and then once the tank comes out, they wipe them with the tank with whatever's left. So the infected need to get in as much chips of damage as possible. They don't get in that much though. This could be a bit of an issue. The survivors still do have four sets of pills to commit. If they can hold on to those pills and not take enough not take a lot of damage going into it, they could actually survive the tank and potentially um, survive this finale. Boomer coming in, double boom, tracking Charger coming in. Charger leading in on somebody, oh, but he curve charges into Coach with the spit. Very successful bug. Oh, another thing I remember, spit doesn't spread properly in this room. That looks like somebody accidentally threw a pipe bomb here. Might have been instinctual. Survivors need all the help they can get just to survive this finale, bro. The characters spoke to the player. They're like, please let me throw this pipe bomb. And I guess they decided to throw a pipe bomb. Hunter creeping in here, staring at them through the walls. Wall hacks. And Boomer coming in, gets a single boom here. Hunter not landing on Coach, that was extremely laggy. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. He pounced on his head three times before he capped Punches. him. Punches. Those punches. See, two people down with the Continent Infected coming in here. They might have want to save that one pipe bomb they used earlier for now. One thing you know, I'm starting to notice though, even though the survivors are holding out in here, they're not really spawn blocking the majority of the areas where they need to stand. And I've been you seeing like Boomers just kind of though. spawning from behind them and getting that, again, it's kind of just walking in and getting that boom and then that sets everything else up. But you can't spawn block here though, they come through the rooftop like this Boomer is coming in right now. Hunter coming in, pouncing around, does not get skated, still pouncing around, managed to land on somebody, spit not spreading properly in this specific room here. I think somebody walking to spit though, might have felt sorry for the spitter and decided to take some ticks of damage. The tank will be up here momentarily, so this will be the wipe here, which again, like I said, I've never seen any team survive this event, even when they've taken it in this very, very overpowered spot.
There's tank, tank is now up. Not before a possible auto charge there. Oh, tank up in the hands of the Orange. It looks like somebody just got ink capped down. Oh, Tank is going to be late. Tank might be able to get in there, but it looks like he's not going to be able to get there in time. Let's quickly go over to a survivor war room here. Stay alive. Good night. Yes, let him stay in here so I can keep shooting. Charger. He's dead, he's dead. Wow. wow I'm Arden, we're back. Tank got uh, got in there very late and got cleared extremely quickly. No support. Got taken down. Well, one other thing is, he kind of just went in, but he was also chasing healthy survivors who were not limping at all. And that made the kiting job really easy. He needed to just chase those lower HP survivors and just get them down ASAP so you have one less gun train on you. And they were able to just pretty much slaughter that tank with no support. This is going to be really Boomer tight coming in. if they survive this. Great rocket boom in there. Passing the rocket booms. We see a pounce behind Nick here. Not getting cleared. And it looks like they will have two people dead. And this will be the end of the Survivor team. Nick doing his best to try and keep Coach alive. But those four are going to keep coming in. And he's boomed on. Oh, and here comes the next wave of common. That will be it. There's just no way he's going to be able to get him up at this point. You see what I see? I see a waterfall of bodies. And there goes the pipe bomb. The pipe bomb. It does go down. Surprisingly enough, they did cover a pretty nice amount of distance in this map. Somebody wanna lend me a hand here? And they, they kill the tank. So they did set the bar pretty high for the other team. They have to get through two tanks, survive a finale, and have about a nice 200 health bonus just to Get ahead. That 200 health bonus is not gonna. I've never seen any. By this way. In fact, I'm gonna go look over there, and see how or what it looks like past here. Let's see, again, side here. The next wall opens up. Next wall opens up. Ah. They were actually very close. Oh, what are you talking about? They were really far. No, they had two walls that opened up, and then it's pretty much the rescue. Because both walls were actually open when that tank spawned. That's a lie. Anything can be a lie. Let's go. Come on, keep moving off. Hey, we should okay. get going. Hey, man, we should do this. We can do this. You reckon we should move out now? Let's go. Hey, man, we should keep going. Hey, we should get going, man. Let's roll. Careful, you guys. We all right, here comes the final round of this custom map. Heavens can wait too. Looks like they were trying to attack inside the safe room here, but they lost the spawns. We'll be attacking outside. Hunter is now pre-spawn. Hunter looking for going in there. Looks like they're charging inside, but he charges the door frame instead. He gets skeeted. Jockey coming in from behind, making no noise, but gets shut down by Coach. Oh no! Didn't get shut down. Did uh, get in a dead stop. Shot. Charger with 580 HP. Hiding around the corner here. He's trying to go for a second charge of the spit charge. We see some fire from the fire barrels again. Charger sitting at 504 HP. So he's trying going to get away. Spot here, which is now going to be contested by the infected. I mean, on the price, at least they get that. So let's see how the survivors handle that. Oh, he misses the shot, but he gets a draw. Nice crown. draw by Zen. Charger still unable to respawn. Hunter looking for that pounce in there, but he will get skinned with the bosom right now. They're all, all their focus is up there, but he does not get skinned. He gets away. He gets dead stopped though and shut down. We see a charge spit. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Not really. Actually, not a lot. That's best spread. That's or just trying to find a little bit of a corner. Well, they use pipe bombs. Hyper a little of pipe bombs. There's nothing inside. Ah! The pipe bombs got stolen by the. Like, have you ever heard of the safe room janitor in this game?
This is why we can't have nice things. And Lyra doing some more typing there. Getting hit by a coming effect in the back. Jockey lands. Pounce coming in. Misses though. Shoved over by Rochelle. Shoved twice and then dead. Spitter going for a bit of a free spit there. And looks like a boomer going in for a single boom. Shoot me again. I mean, despite the pipe bombs and all that stuff, the Sarvers actually are in a good position to take on this tank if they can just manage to kill the tank, get to the finale, kill another tank, and then they could take this away. Although Ellis, I think he's going the wrong way. They may be in a good position to take on this tank, but they are not in a good position. And they've already lost way too much help. Here comes the tank in the hands of Synax. Alrighty. Let's go over to the other team's war room here. Oh boy. Oh boy. My <laughs> axe got you. My axe definitely connected with that jockey. Maybe it's in one of these huts. Or the barracks. Get off my mini gun. You're on the gun. It's mine. We need to find ammo quick. I'm looking. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody skeet rocks on me. Oh. Back behind here? Silent? I see you, I got you. Oh, you got rocked. Oh my god. Silent timed out. Um, uh. Hi, x -Pi. All right, so what we got here in uh, on our team is uh, timed out, and there's a tank up there, and <laughs> pipe bomb noises. <laughs> Beep. I'd make pipe bomb noises if we had any pipe bombs. Got this, guys. Wait, no, this rock. Wow. How many times you gotta shoot a goddamn rock? Fucker. Ha. Seriously? Come on! Nick's not here. Silence not here. Um, oh, she, you just jump. Just unpause it. You just gotta jump a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, pausing is not gonna help it. Let's just finish this up. For Did we ever find that ammo? Nope. Instant repounds, are you kidding me? Reloading. 
Whoa. I'm good at skeeting rocks. Oh my fucking god. Uh, oh. You can get it, you can get it. I have okay, a tank up. anyway. I'm out of ammo. I'm just, I'm bound down to two clips. Down. I'm so tempted to blow this up on myself. Charger. Coming for you, Orange. Why <laughs> passing it? <laughs> you troll. Who the fuck passed it? What a it? troll. Lyra. Lyra, stop it. What did I do? Who keeps pausing it? I didn't pause it. Alright, and we're back. So that is the end of Heaven Can Wait 2. Uh, and the only thing I can really say is the Infected need to work with their attacks a bit better. Uh, survivors need to be skeeting rocks. They can't be hit getting hit by those rocks. At the very least, if you can't skeet, you need to line a sight. Way too many rocks there at the end. So, looks like Dusty is also left here too. I'm gonna be exiting commenting from him. So, <laughs> anyways. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is the end of Left to Learn, April 5th, 2014. And see you guys next week. Take care.